looking at page 16 in the packet. Again, these are challenging pages. This one is about whole steps. A whole step is made up of two half steps. Two halves make a whole. Or stepping from one note to another with a note in between. Not just a note, but on the keyboard, it's with a key in between. C to D is a whole note because we move and we go past the black and we go here. E to F sharp, E, we take F and then that makes that F sharp. Whole steps are sometimes called tones. So if we zoom in here a little bit and we talk about our notes on the staff, we're going to circle the whole notes. Don't forget, or I'm sorry, the whole steps. Don't forget, you can use the um, music, musical alphabet and uh, bring it in as a resource so that you have, and you can see where the halves and holes are. All right. If you need help actually naming notes, this is not the video for you. Go back and find that. You should be able to name notes pretty easily to be able to do this challenging part of it. So if we go from an F to a G, F to a G, F to a G, that is a whole note, so a whole step. So we're talking about a whole step. Excellent. The next one is a B to a C. So we see a B to a C is a half step, so don't circle it. A G to an A, a G to an A, whole step, so we can circle that one. An F to an F sharp. F, not to G, but an F to an F sharp, that's that in between one, so that's a half step, don't wanna do that. Now we're down in the bass clef. G to an A, G to an A, that's a whole step, so we can circle that one. E to an F sharp. E to an F is a half step, but if we go in between here and have that F sharp, then that is a whole step. B to a C, B to a C, that's one of our half steps. F to A, that jumps right over G and goes to A, so that's definitely not um, a whole step. Now, a whole note, or what note is a whole step higher than A? Whole step higher than A? Oh, that's a B. You can use, okay? A whole step lower than E. Whole step lower than E, that's a D. What note is a whole step higher than B? B, we only have a half, so we have to put, a, we, we know it's some sort of C, so it's a C sharp. What note is a whole step lower than G sharp? So if G is sharp, there's something in between here. G to F, G sharp to F sharp makes a whole step. Circle the whole steps in this melody. So as we look at this melody, as we look at this melody, we're looking for the whole steps. E to G, that jumps right over something that's not a whole step. All the way down, that's way too big from a G to a C, G to a C, way too big. C to a D, C to a D, that's a whole step. Let's put a D to an E, that's a whole step. And then we're just going back down. That just because it's down doesn't mean it's not, so that's a whole step. D to an F, D to F, it jumps over, jumps something, back down to a D, that F to a D, that jumps over. D up to a G, that jumps way too big. G to F, G to F, that's a whole step. Watch out, F to an E, F to an E, there's the half step. E to a D, E to a D, whole step. D down to, that's a B, that jumps too far, but a B to a C, nope, that's only a half step. A whole step can be called a tone. A half step can be called a semitone. That was from page 15. There we've got some whole steps all within the page 16. Very challenging.